What's up, I'm Claudia Vett, and I'm going to show you how to do long, hard carves on your caster board. I've seen videos out there, and I see a lot of the, the shaky leg thing, the shaky leg, and I don't, I want you to stop doing that, because that's not going to help you propel forward, it doesn't benefit you, like the full potential of riding a caster board it's not you're never going to get it if you if you do the little shaky leg so don't do that so that's what this is for so i'm going to show you how to do that i guess easier i don't know so i'm going to show you on my ripster because this is what i this is my preferred it's like a mini ripstick so that's what i'm going to show you okay so the first thing you want to do is you need to bend your knees. If you do not bend your knees, you're never going to get that motion the legs have to do. You're going to have to keep your knees bent. A good practice of training to do so you get used to the long, hard carving motion is heel to toe, heel to toe. Like do like really hard, intense digging into from your heel, from your toe, like that. And work on that and that's going to help you get that that motion down if you're if your knees are not bent they're straight then you're never going to get that momentum and you're never going to get that range of motion from your heel to your toe so practice doing that Just get on the board and remember those motions and do them again and try to mimic how you did it in a slow pace and don't be afraid to fall. So that's really important. You need to remember to keep your knees bent and when you're digging heel to toe, it will come natural and you're gonna feel like you're carving on a wave. It's, that's the way you're supposed to feel. It's supposed to be like a very surfy, simulated feeling. But another good technique to use are cones. You can get these cones anywhere. They have them like at a, I got mine at the Dollar Tree. Place them down in staggering positions. They don't have to be straight in front of each other. I put them staggered and I do that so I can work on my hard carves. You're gonna just try to, it gives you something to aim for. So that's a good training method. Work on how far you can carve and turn that board. Try to do it this way. You'll feel, it'll feel so different than the shaky leg thing. You do not want to do, don't, no more shaky leg. That's it. No more. I just, I, no.